how's it going members of the Shen Society and I got another meme for the sham reaction and obviously this might be another long one because um, my friend again started sending a whole bunch of memes and like I've been told from him is that basically like whatever he finds hilarious or just like something that he just liked while he was scrolling through TikTok and basically just said oh I'm gonna make I'm gonna post as much as I can of what I like and basically it's gonna be like pro possibly another an hour but Hopefully I could get through them very fast and basically don't have to talk a lot because I knew I talked a lot in that previous means for the sham. But obviously, um, you know, enough of that. I'm going to jump in right into the meme. But before I do that, let me hit that intro. Time to deliver a another video by the sham. And it says right here, me when I had to fight Hashbola and yeah, the, the thing that's going on in the world. But obviously, like, what I want is peace. I don't want violence anymore. I don't want to see this. I don't want to hear this. But, yeah. I'm sorry, little one. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, what a way to start off. But hopefully it gets brighter. You f you and the boys find Hezbollah in No Man's Land. And yeah, I guess these are just going to be very popular because this is what's happening in the world. But like still, I just want peace. Like he seems like such a very nice person. Oh yeah, and also how like they were like making jokes out of this, like basically how like in the situation that that is going on in the world, that basically oh because this is happening oh COD developers are gonna make this into a game for sure like that's like the thing. <laughs> wow, with Nikocado Avocado, surely. Yeah, and this is right here by the creator. In the light of certain events, this didn't age well. Like, it did not, dude. It just did not. Okay, now we're jumping into, like, a different route now. And this is right here. The physicist and the science of Spider-Man. So here, Peter Parker Spider-Man needs to stop a runaway elevated tray. He mm -hmm. shoots out multiple web lines. They stretch a great deal, but they don't break. And he's able to stop the train just in the nick of time. Okay. How strong does the webbing have to be? for this to work. We can look up the mass of a train. Mm -hmm. We can yeah, like estimate that its was... initial velocity by seeing how long it takes That, that basically shows so much blocks. determination. We can look at the distance over which the, the webbing stretches. Mm -hmm. We can estimate its diameter. We can count the number of web lines. And we come up with a tensile strength for the webbing that has to be about a thousand megapascals, which is equivalent wow. to 145,000 pounds per square inch. But real Ooh. spider silk has a tensile strength of 1,200 megapascals. If Spider-Man's webbing Whoa. is anywhere as strong as real spider silk, then this indeed could happen. 8 out of 10? Wow. So he Yo, that's actually very wild. But like, uh, like I know that basically, like I, I seen like a bunch of movies out there that basically how they're like, Whenever they cross into a spider web, like it, it gets into them, and like it, it's it takes them a while to like pull out all the all the webbing out of their face, or yeah, like it's basically like they walk into a, a spider web not knowing what's going on, and and they're like ah, so basically yeah, the spider webs are very potent when it comes to stuff like this, and that's still crazy how basically a physicist um, gave evidence to this scene in Spider Man. Which is still the best one, I, I would assume. Um, I mean, I'm saying. Um, best Spider-Man. And obviously, like, um, basically that scene that he's just, like, webbing to stop the train so the people don't fall off and end up getting hurt. And that's just amazing how basically, like, even though it was a movie, it's still a possibility for it to be, like, fact. That's awesome. I says, I mean, the... 
Other he, 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 he. What? A rock. Oh. Oh, my. I was like, assuming, like, what's going on? And then we see this old meme that happened way back. That's funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Close. just your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Spider Man <sighs> with uh, Star Wars? I'm over here now. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna get hit. <sighs> Spider Gun. Oh. Ooh. Ah! Oh whoa, my whoa. goodness. <laughs> I don't remember Spider Man having a gun. And it says right here we asked Steve Harvey to be on the latest cover. Let's see. I mean, like, it's, it's, like, hilarious, like, how basically Steve Harvey goes in, like, um, he has, like, this attire, and it's, it's, like, hilarious how people go as far with the creativity of basically what he wears, everyone makes, like, something unique out of it, but, like, at least he's down with it, just look at how he ate this, and... damn, dude. He got some drip right there. He's the drip king, Steve Harvey. And this is right here. My respect for the last anime fan. What do you think is the worst anime? I would say One Piece just because it keeps on dragging on. Oh my. <laughs> you would say One Piece is one of the worst animes of all time. Yes. No, like here's the thing. Like when it comes to me, like basically, uh, I was like telling someone because uh, they were telling me, oh, are you gonna watch this One Piece? Because uh, are you gonna watch One Piece? Because like. The movie's coming now, and basically, I was like, I haven't like jumped into it. Um, I haven't watched it, and I possibly feel like I'm not gonna be able to catch up unless I spend most of my time watching it. And obviously, like, I was like giving like uh, my stance saying that it's just too long right now for me to like to watch all of it. And the person that watches One Piece and has caught up is like saying that's what everyone says, and like. Yeah, but like when it comes to this, like, I don't know yet. Like, I don't know yet when it comes to that, but. How do you feel about people saying One Piece is the worst anime? What are you doing? Do they, what are they, do they live in a rock? Yeah, I low key agree. You can't be disrespectful like that. Would you say that to Luffy? It's facts. Good anime got a beginning, middle, and end. There's no resolution yeah. in One Piece, bro. One Piece just got a beginning. And it's coming, but you gotta be patient. This is not the journey. Yeah. What do you think is the worst? Yeah, like basically, like for One Piece, like that's what basically it's basing on. Like it has the beginning of how it goes. We get the characters who they are, and like it's slowly, slowly going to like the progression of like, oh, these characters are evolutionizing to being different from how they were when we first met them. And then obviously, like once it comes to like a conclusion to the story, we get to see that the characters have finally um reach their goals that they wanted to do and they're just changed but like we still care about them as they were from day one props to the guy props to the guy and this is right here real life sounds percussion edition wow what's percussion real life sounds on percussion instruments oh hey siri what's the weather like today Mm. Real life. I like that. <laughs> so that's where it came from. Uh, and it's, uh, this is your English. I say red, you say blue. So, how did you hear about this position? Blue. Practice oh. your English. I say red, you say blue. I mean. So, how did you hear about this position? Blue. <laughs> I mean. I mean, the guy did say, I'll say red, you say blue. And basically, like, she followed. She followed. She said blue. Yeah, it says, make this a song. Oh, this is cute. I love this kind of stuff. They got holes. No, not that man. Get that man away from this person. Run. Eminem.
need context on that one. Basically, like, I see a bunch of orange being crushed and just one. And, like, there's a bunch of green M&M's. Uh, 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 kind of lost on that one. Let me know what they're trying to indicate in that one. Let me know down in the comments. Mexican versus oh, British Coca-Cola, which is better. So I've had so many comments saying that Mexican Coca-Cola is like the best Coca-Cola that you can get. Mm -hmm. So I am so happy that I've received this. Thank you so much, Robert, like, for sending this over. Good. I can't wait to try and compare it to what we can get over here in England. I have never seen a glass Coke bottle this shape or size. Mm -hmm. Our glass bottles are a lot smaller and they're also not very common. You'd only really see them in restaurants, not sold in shops. But yeah, let's give them a taste. Quick reminder of the British. Like, yeah beautiful now for the mexican i'm so excited like it has like a good hit of like everything when it comes oh, to it like does taste mexican different oh, it tastes mm. yeah oh i like it i like it better it tastes more syrupy and a lot more carbonated a mm -hmm. lot like stronger flavor but it's different to british cook mm. but i prefer it oh it's good it's good Me and like basically like it hits different like different from like any other cokes that there are and yeah like whenever i go to mexico like i do like enjoy myself a uh, a coke like that that same size because like it just hits different from like the coke just anywhere because like it has like a different um sensation to like different to like the sugar but yeah this is right here teacher wild teacher is wilding watching culture oh it's food wars the, the what's it called the reactions it's like oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i mean like still even though like you see all the etchiness that came out of it that basically oh my gosh like they're showing too much skin. That's basically indicating that it's that good of a dish. It's not just, it's not like they're just eating just food and basically they're just having that reaction just because. Um, no, like that's basically, it's indicating just how good it is. Um, and they enjoyed every bite of it until the at last of the dish. Like, that's why. This filter is oh no. This filter is supposed to show your look like an attack on Titan. It's gonna give him that character. Yeah. This filter. Not gonna give a comment on this. Ah! Ah! Don't look what? at me! But you're everywhere! You're <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Why? Oh, thank God I'm blind. Yo, I'm next. No! Oh my gosh. I did that with love, boy. I did that with What's love, boy. Oh, thank you, Dad. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I have to um, definitely jump back to watching more of The Simpsons. Like, obviously, like, there's some hilarious moments in this show that, oh my gosh, it just brings back so much memories. Like, when I watched The Simpsons movie, like, that was just hilarious. And obviously, like, I... Like, they're still making more episodes, and I just gotta watch it. But, like, yo, that's crazy. And this is right here. Him and Donkey Kong been beefing since the Stone Age. Oh, yeah, Dashy. Right there. Right there. We made eye contact. Right there. Look. <laughs> He's like, you're not gonna win this. Y'all feel that? I'm back there suffering. You see mm -hmm. me? And look. He's just, like, passing by. Damn, the disrespect from that Donkey Kong. Eesh. Oh my gosh, the intent, the intensity. Dollar. Be honest. Who's hotter, Abraham Lincoln or Barack Obama? Oh, Barack Obama. Oh, sorry, it's... Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh my by god. My opinion. Okay, but watch it. You could get shot. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so much fun. Fruits and vegetables. I could die at any moment. For a dollar. Uh, and like basically like just the unexpected uh cameo of um Big Bird. <laughs> He's just like, huh? That's hilarious. 
Let's see. Animation took 50 plus hours. Anyone want to count the clock? See how many you can see? Still props. Props, dude. Wow. Yo, that's awesome. Let's see. Let's see, now this is the final product. Woo! Hey, that looks awesome. Still props. Props for doing that animation, and I hope you get the, what's it called, the views. And you get the follows to keep doing you because that is awesome. And this is right here. Throwback to when I was fighting for my life in a Walmart bathroom. And this is right here in this caption. Bro, I'm never using these handicapped bathrooms again. Yo, what the fuck? Well, like, basically, like, you have to learn the, uh, you have to let them use the bathroom. Oh, no. Oh no. And this is right here. POV, you're watching the 2005 Fantastic Four film and you realize your childhood crush is your girlfriend. What? No way. Is it actually gonna be Invisigirl? Or similar? Oh. Fuck. I got it. I got it because basically it's Inv Invisible Girl and. Basically, she's not there. I get it. Oh my gosh. We got Kingdom Hearts with Winnie the Pooh characters. Let's see. Oh my. Bro, this is a game. Why? And everyone's just like watching. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hilarious. And this is right here. Ice cold moments in history. Isn't this um Horton here's a who? Fuck smiling. Twenty thousand dead bitches on the island. Twenty thousand dead bitches on five. Mm, she make it crap. I got the strap. Twenty more oh. I still for I still forgot about that scene that basically uh even though like this person is like very like cold and basically it has like the emo vibe, like still that was freaking uh that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Clean. And this right here, this is the most gym accurate thing I've seen on the show. The single best thing. Oh, I remember this show that I think it's called Smiling Friends. That um it's like apparently getting popular. If you want to get your life in order and be attracted to chicks is to get in shape and become an alpha male like me. Okay, sure. Oh, my. The easiest thing to start with is probably this one hundred pound squat. Yeah, no, what, That's what you need to pounds. do is get your posture right. You, you need to straighten your back and be aware of your foot placement because your feet are all wrong. Oh, Except yeah, for gravity thanks, man. Oh, yeah, I was like, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because what yeah, you're I'm doing, trying to help him out. You're doing that, you're going to pull something if you keep doing it that okay, way. Thank you, we got it, we got it. Uh, I also we got it, man. <laughs> He's going to pull. He's just showing off. All right, He's going to pull. I told you to do it. Okay. He's going to pull something. Yeah, like, I, I was assuming that something was going to go bad. If it was just gonna be his like um ideals, and this is right here normal kid skiing. Normal kid skiing. Oh, it was basically gonna say Jackson. Jackson. Oh. Normal. Don't worry, he's good. Because this is right here. Nobody was hurt in the making of this video. See? Okay. Ooh. Hope he's okay. I just discovered. This shit is pure malarkey. Huh. I so, we have a nice glass. So, is that basically, like, the real truth behind, like, this, like, pattern that they give? That basically, it's, like, a sticker that gives it, like, a nice touch to the glass? 
Because if not, then I wonder how how well they do like the glass like that. Like how much time did they have to put in it? But I don't know. Speed by fifty. Why can't I sprint? Oh no! Help! I was gonna be like, oh, set it to peacefully. Just hit the ground. Oh my! Don't worry. Basically, the kid is fine. Nothing happened. Just pushed to the couch and just literally fell down on on himself. That's it. Nothing bad happened. Don't worry. Will Jolly Ron? Jolly Ranchers? And let's see. She's friction weld. Let's find out. They're gonna break. Whoa! I'd say they did. Will jo Yo, well, I mean, it's hard candy, so... Maybe? Because, like, it's friction welding. So, yeah. Because, obviously, like, they're pushing together, so... It's likely that maybe that would, that, that would happen. Obviously, like, uh, I'm not an expert, so... But that was interesting to see. <clears throat> Ready? Something bad's gonna happen. The last one. Oh wow. Okay, don't worry. Like he he didn't intentionally and he didn't hurt the kid. It just was for the video. Yeah. But still. Okay. So watching the original Ninja Turtle movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. Have you guys ever seen the actor's mouth I, in Donatello's costume? Look at it. Like, I, I still have to rewatch this because, like, I've watched the second one, but, like, I haven't, like, truly went back to watch the first one, like, how it was. But, like, it was childhood right there. Let me try Let's and see. pause at the right spot. Watch when he laughs. So watching the... <laughs> you could definitely see the person's... <laughs> face <laughs> but still it's still a good movie pulled over for playing loud music oh yeah yeah you could get pulled over for loud music hey okay <laughs> At least he's chill about it. Hmm. A dog with the glasses. We see that every day. A dog with glasses. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> hey, at least the dog was having a, a vibe awesome obviously like they're they're chill and he's chill so obviously like yeah hope our, everything goes well with him do you have a favorite feature oh it's there? this one that, yeah the metaverse that you think is very cool check this it's out it's gonna be that wow. yeah so that's pretty neat do you have a favorite yeah i, I still remember that <laughs> oh my gosh dude so this is really special it's called move d metal art and Move hmm. D Metal art is really heavy, but it's special because it creates one solid piece of art. And the thing about hmm. Move D Metal is you have to move these nuts. Oh my so goodness. Really I did not expect that. Come on, man. Come on. I was trying to learn something from from this metal that you were trying that you were explaining. But now that you said that, damn dude. I got trolled to the hardest. This is wait till the end. Nut, or this uh, screw? Look up there, mm -hmm. right there. Look. Yeah. He's gonna oh, throw it. God. Okay, you see this little oh, nut? Or this uh, screw? Look it's right probably there. someone yeah. grabbing it. Oh, God. Yeah, like, I'm assuming that someone grabbed it. So, uh, I don't know. Because I, I saw that there's a little hand right there, so it's gonna be someone to confuse the grandma. Test is gonna prove how. And this is right here, stare at the white dot in. How crazy your eyes are. So in two seconds, a white dot is going to appear, and you want to stare at that dot, okay? Okay. So look at that for the next 20 seconds. Don't mm -hmm. worry, it goes by pretty quickly. If you blink or something, that's fine. Just don't blink too much. But really okay. focus on that white dot right in the middle. Uh-huh. 
Still you have focusing to zone on, in it. on it. You have about 10 more seconds. Okay. And at the end of this 10 seconds, basically the screen is going to change. Gonna Trust happen. me, it's not going to be a Rick roll or anything crazy. It's going to be a Rick roll. Two, one. If you still huh. see color, that's all in your mind because you're looking at a black and white screen right now. This test is going to prove. Ayo, that's so weird. So obviously, like, try out the the challenge that the person was saying. Uh, basically, just look at the white dot because, like, here's the thing: for a second, he was true because basically I did see like the colors, but just like fade out. But then when I blinked, it it just gave me like the black and white. Um, what's it called? Colors that he was like indicating that basically, at the end he was like, oh. You may you might see the colors, but if you do, then that's just your mind just giving you that. But in reality, it's just this picture. Interesting. Essentially, how we're gonna get cleaned up? How's that? Is that bothering you? Oh my gosh! Thanks. I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. But okay. I then this is right here. I think he found something. What the? He must have found something really good if he already gave that, like, huge whiff. Huh. I wonder what he finds. If you got drafted to go to World War Three, would you go? For my brother, I would. Yeah? I'd be scared as fuck, but I would. There you go. Okay. We're Queen. For volunteers to go. Oh, fuck no! My oh, my God. No, what I happened? Hey, but what happened? <laughs> Nah, dude, it, it, if I'm being honest, like, I don't, I don't want this escalation to happen. I don't want this to be a reality when basically, like, there's basically giving this. Because, like, basically, like, what I want is this, this whole world to have peace. I don't want to hear the fact that, oh, this is happening. Oh, this is, the casualties are happening. Oh, this is also happening. No, dude. What I want is this thing to get solutionized, to get peace dude because basically it's getting wild by the second and what i what i just want is just peace among everyone because we're all human bro just wild what's going on just wild and this is right here old games you've probably forgotten part five you what about me Oh, Rap Force. It's still a classic game. That's a that's a very old game that that I've um what's it called played when when the teacher would like give us like the thirty minutes of free play because like we finished all the work and basically we could go on um, cool math games and that was basically like one of those memory games, but. Damn, how much has time progressed? And obviously, now that Flash is gone, that game is possibly also gone. But it won't be forgotten in my eyes. I still remember playing during a 30 minute uh, session that we got for free. Um, free games. Um, and passed the whole thing. Pretty awesome. The Australia is not that dangerous. Our spiders, the courteous the knots. Hmm. Whoa! Above our headline. So unless you're Shaquille O'Neal, these spiders are not going to bother anymore. you, really. That is uh, terrifying. That's terrifying. I wouldn't want to disturb those spiders, though. What's going on here? Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're saying wrong car. Oh my. Yeah, like I, I, I still remember like the mistakes that basically um, I usually have sometimes that basically like since my dad has like a, a car that looks similar to a bunch of other cars. Like it's kind of hard like to rep like identify which one is the right car. Unless, like, you, I see, like, something that differs from all the other cars. Or, basically, when he, like, honks the horn to be like, oh, it's literally right here. 
basically that like that's like that's the um, same instant but just not in this case that basically like how the cars were because uh yeah that car though that second car por fin de 30 años ya puedo tomar mi coca-cola ya no es poder you're gonna drop it. Oh my. And it's raining. Wow. Oh man. About to drink a nice Coke in the rain, but it falls. Mm. Sad times right there. And it's just throwback. Sorry. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh no. There's a spill. And I just mopped that floor. Ah, oh, what a nice lady. Even though she's like, she's gonna be like, dang, and now I have to mop it. But she seems like a very sweet lady. Oh. Nothing good could ever happen when it's like a oh, video no. of someone on a scooter. Yeah. Okay, oh. so basically we saw some, some cool tricks. I, I remember when I used to do that before I literally uh, kept on doing it and eventually I broke my arms twice. Not fun. Man, I'm kind of sleepy, homie. I've been up all night. I ain't and this is like your Snoop like Dogg trolls. Four in the morning? Yeah. What your old ass doing up to four in the morning? What you, you was out partying? No, I was studying an um, Olympic research binder. You studied hmm. what? The Olympic research binder, getting my research together. Who okay. gave you a binder? You ain't got one? No, I don't have no binder. Ain't nobody give me no binder. Why you got a binder? So you got three. Nobody gave me a binder. <laughs> Damn, I'm kind of sleepy. Huh? Damn, the way he's like, I got an Olympic something something binder, and he's like, what? What are you talking about? Like, where's mine? And basically, just hilarious, because like now he has to like think about that same fact that basically Snoop having a binder, what basically he's claiming as a binder. And Kevin Hart's like, damn, no one got me a binder, huh? Wow. And this is right here. So I'm literally convinced there's oh. a gigantic spider inside of my ceiling. I haven't looked yet, but oh I'm, I'm pretty sure it's there. <laughs> so oh, that kind of spider. I thought it was going to be like a huge, huge spider that basically, yeah. But huh. That's interesting. The walls. <laughs> and this is right here. This, this was the ultimate cooperation. Fart. Oh, it's all the Alexis. Jeez. They rip freaking wet ones. So this aisle at Walmart mm -hmm. is the Asian and Mexican aisle in Walmart. Why they yeah, that basically, uh, I remember that, that there's like a Walmart that like gives like saying all the Hispanic products and all this other stuff. And call it rice and beans. They think they slick. Eesh. Walmart, you got an answer to that. Come on. Yikes. Oh, no. It's it's Moist Critical's um, clips taken out of context, and I still don't know what this one was. Oh, it's a whole lobby full of children. Oh, no. What's going on, kids? You guys ever tried cigarettes? Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's the other one. This one is when he's like um, watching like a clip from Among Us, and yeah, there's some con uh clips from out of context from anyone, anyone. But this one's hilarious though. It's been oh. ten years. Basically, it's like going through the throwback of how it basically evolutionized throughout the years that basically youtube was like that little tv box safari was you start to forget like that the snapchat you was like that oh yeah chrome can't stop remembering chrome was like so wild looking google was kind of the same forget. they just like changed like the text behind it the app store we've always had the power like how it was though not anymore instagram we have that one is changed facebook like there like there's some things that did change and like there's some that really changed over the years 
Like, obviously, YouTube is one of them, and Instagram was one of them. And also, um, Snapchat. Like, those three, like, changed, like, to the fullest. And then, like, obviously, like, as it progressed, it started, like, making, like, a simple design. But one that, basically, everyone will obviously uh, know. And we got some coffee. What? Caution. Contents are hot. Oh, no. Can't be that hot. <gasps> oh, oh. Fuck. You. Come on. Can't be doing that. But thank you. That made my day. Evan, what about you and your A clip task? about the office. Can you tell me now where paper comes from? Uh, the man tree puts its penis. Okay. Oh, my. Are you, Kevin? <laughs> He's going to be like, we're talking about the, the man tree and the woman tree. And basically, it's like the same thing when it comes to the birds and the bees. And they make paper. And that's their children. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Never gets old. <laughs> we just see Pennywise just vibing in the background. And the cleaner's like, uh, get away from me. He's like, get away from me, dude. Oh, my goodness. Huh, I wonder what's going on. What are they celebrating? Oh. Haha, uh -huh, I got it. I got it. Obviously, I'm not gonna play it back or more. Am I gonna do it slow? Just remember that it's basically uh, their their creativity for funny. And obviously, if you see from uh, the caption, you probably know what's gonna be about. Yes, another one of the magic ones. Let's Puzzle see. for the brain, the pom-pom stick. The yellow pom-poms connected to the red pom-pom, mm -hmm. but also the red pom-pom over here. This yellow pom-poms connected to this red pom-pom, and also the yellow pom-pom over here. The two yellow pom-poms are actually connected, and also to the yellow pom-pom over here. The red pom-pom is the purple pom-pom, and the red pom-pom over here. These two pom-poms are connected, but the pom-pom is the pom-pom over here. The pom-pom, 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 pom-pom! Puzzle oh my gosh yo that's actually very awesome basically like how he was going saying that oh he pulls one and the other one falls down he pulls the other one it goes like the other way obviously like we'll never understand the magic behind this but still amazing Oh my gosh. And rescue a princess just so far quite to give you back. Let me guess it's going to be like one of those. Cuz you filled it full of freaks in the first place. Is that about right? You know what? In 2020, oh my gosh. will invade Ukraine. You're gonna I I still remember like how like basically there's like these random moments from like people they're like saying, "Oh, they're singing a song and obviously like they make a what's it called? An edited clip of just them like saying like Oh, this is going on, or this other stuff. And, oh my gosh, I can't. And this is right here, you laugh, you lose. Easy mode, let's see. Oh, well he's done. Let me guess. Oh. oh my god, focus. Focus. <clears throat> Who wants to show the fortune? Only your expectations can slow you down. Ah, oh, the dog. It is. You're even well, the dog's gonna get the fortune now. How many blocks do you have left? The blocks are gonna fall. Don't worry, he's good. Already lasted two minutes into No Not November. This shit is going to be so easy. He's gonna have. Yeah. Whoa! It's fighting back! <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Hey, that, that's a good Have costume. You heard about this? You better know what this is or else I'm gonna come find you. Damn. Some kid just called me a fat ass. So if you're in Lowe's, missing a kid, he's in the red LG drive. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I laughed at the end, but that didn't count. Interesting things you didn't know existed. 
Doctors in Brazil created a 3D ultrasound printer so that blind people can see their babies. Apparently, blind people be fucking. These traffic lights in India make it easier for people to see when the lights colors change. Whoa. That's because nobody be paying attention anymore, so they gotta light up the whole shit. There's a place oh named the Corpus Museum, and it allows you to take a trip through the entire human body. My meat took a trip through your girl's body. A Japanese designer oh named Yasahiro Suzuki made a giant zipper and turned it into a boat. What the fuck? Interesting. Hey, but like that's that's unique. You're you're basically never gonna find like stuff like this where people have the creativity to make this. So basically, that's awesome. Very awesome. You got some Cheerios. Oh, it's Cheerio Man. Let me guess the council of Cheerios. He's already in there. Oh my gosh. The Cheerio man. He's like, yeah. Oh, this is learning part two. What the heck is that? Water? Bro, the fact of how much they're... Oh, it's milk. No, but like the fact of how much they're trying to do this. Yo, that is crazy. What the heck is going on with the Cheerio, man? I have questions. They threw up on your merch? Let's see. Oh my god. I mean, like, it's just him being him. Like, he's obviously there to entertain. And basically, like, um, I still remember the fact how, like, there was, like, that one concert from Tyler, the creator, that basically, like, someone threw a shoe. And he's like, who threw that shoe? Someone find the guy that threw the shoe. He's like, he's there? Get him. And he just makes it. And, like, they make a whole bunch. Like he just makes a whole bunch of people to bring up. She did. Oh my god. Oh, I have no sympathy. Fuck. Next song. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious though. Like obviously, like he's just doing it out of a joke. So obviously, like if the person really did get upset, then he just did it for a joke. He's not actually being like serious. Like he's not being legit for it. He's just being him because that's Tyler the Creator. This is right here rewatching Attack on Titan when I saw this scene, episode two. I was rewatching Attack on Titan when I saw this scene in episode two. Hmm. And I found young Reiner and Berthold in this to second scene. Mm -hmm. Well, damn, like, how did you find this? That basically, like, you saw them, like, they were just standing there. There's like a bunch of like hidden stuff that a lot of people are like finding. Like they're apparently saying that they found Aaron like all grown up, like how he is right now in the final season, and like he was just like there from like the beginning of all of this, when Aaron was just a boy, like seeing the Titans just come in and then literally like progressing forward, like hmm, the things that people find. And that basically, um, oh yeah, also like the news that are going up that basically um, Crunchyroll and Funimation have finally merged together and are not two separate ones, but like are going to become one whole um, anime site. So obviously like um, since I have both Funimation and Crunchyroll, like I, I'm probably going to have to like uh, quit my, my subscription for Funimation because basically it's... Like, they're saying that basically anything new is just going to be uploaded there on Crunchyroll. And Crunchyroll is going to have its, like, its own. It's going to have everything. So, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't crash when um, a lot of people want to go see, like, the, the newest episodes of, like, the newest things that are happening in anime for winter. Before, like, we jump into, like, the spring ones. And, yeah, like, I saw this one that basically saying, oh, I just watched this anime for the plot. And... There are some, not all of them, but there are some that I have watched and I, <laughs> uh, I kind of understand what they're trying to say, the 
plot. Uh, just think about it like when I say plot, like basically a um, food wars kind of s vibe, but like not like that. But like it's 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 its own version of plot. But yeah, that's hilarious. Like I like this isn't um cap. This is actually true. Like on um, when I was like checking on. Um, what new animes were jumping in? Like I actually saw this was this. I watch it for the plot, and this is actually what showed up. What the heck is going on, dude? When when I run for president in twenty twenty four, we run a. Oh yeah, basically, like, I guess Kanye West is still going with the idea that he wants to run for twenty twenty four president. And yeah, like I don't know Definitely. what to expect. No, what y'all laughing at? <laughs> oh no. When I run for president in twenty twenty four. Yo, leave this man alone. Basically, there a lot has been going on with him that basically, uh, yeah. Just stop. Just stop. This one is for you, Kobe. Whoa. It's his own little makeshift um, basketball. Number 24. That's so weird. Like how it's actually like a concept like that. Kobe. Woo! Nice. This one is wholesome, wholesome. But like seriously, like in this, like I actually thought it was like a a part like you put like the glue gun and like you're putting like the glue stick like like here. But like I didn't expect that. That's awesome. No, it's just right here when people find out you're bilingual. Hey, yo, Edison, I heard you on the phone. You speak Spanish, right? You're Cuban, right? No, I'm Puerto Rican, but yeah, I speak Spanish. Oh, oh my gosh, can you say my name in Spanish? Uh, yeah, uh, it's Chris, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, um, oh, no. Chris. Oh, shoot. Oh, what about me? What about me? What's your name? My name is Cassie. Uh, Cassie. Cassie? Oh, shoot, I like it. What about me? What about me? Bro, what's your name? Michaela. Michaela. Oh, it's like Michaela. the same thing. Yeah. What about mine? What about mine? Oh no. What's your name? Kayla. Kulo. That's your Kulo. name. It's Kulo. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? That's nice. Kulo. Pinga. That's your name. Pinga. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> hey, uh, Charlotte. Chocha. That's how you Chocha. Ooh, I like Chocha. Charlotte. Okay. Chocha. What about you, boss? I'm Mr. Mahone. Oh, easy. Senor Mahones. Senor Mahone. No. <laughs> and basically, like, he had to cut it off because of, I think. Yeah, like, it's just like here, my mom interfering with her regaños, or basically, like, her. Like, her, like, telling me, like, yeah, like. Stop. Don't do that. How much land would the attack on Titan walls cover if it was in the real world? Here's comparing it to Australia, India, a Whoa. part of Eastern Europe, and then the United States. They'd pretty much keep safe most of Tennessee and Kentucky, but the outer walls would expand all the way up to Illinois and all the way south to Alabama. I don't know. This hmm. seems feasible. I, I'm just saying if Titans ever do come, I think we could probably accomplish this. How much Whoa. land... But, like, still, like... That's crazy how much, like land it covers huh interesting like your crazy experience so i just watched one of the most interestingly strange and freaked up movies i've ever seen but also bizarrely awesomely cool and good What's it's you? called the boss baby <laughs> the boss baby the best one. <laughs> oh wow you know this here fourth grade me when we played heads up seven up in class oh that's such a throwback come on boys won't you shake a full oh, sinner's hand? hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I cheated. Oh yeah, that basically like uh I remember like the I used to do like that in order like to identify like who was the one that that was like who picked me. Oh, it was that person. But I didn't do do it all the time. Like, I actually sometimes respected, like, the the rule of the game that basically, oh, you have to be with your eyes covered, and whoever gives you the, the tap, basically, like, you just have to randomize who it was. Such a throwback, but no more, because we're growing up. Okay, uh, what's going on here? Uh... Wow, come on, man. It was just a kid. It was just a kid, come on. 
He wasn't doing anything. He was just looking at the car. Come on. I never knew Ash was a savage like that. All I think about lately is winning. I hope I'm not becoming heartless. You are always heartless. So this is the way to Saffron City, huh, Misty? I knew okay. we shouldn't have listened to you. Now we'll never get out of here. Yo, I remember, like, there's, like, some clips from Pokemon that basically, um, like, showcase that, oh, Ash was such a savage back in, back in the day, and basically, like, he used to, like, say a bunch of stuff to Misty that, that was, like, so savage, and, like, there's, like, that one clip, I don't know if it's gonna show it here, where it's, like, basically, Staryu gets, like, um, gets, like, attacked, and basically... Misty says, oh no, it's in a lot of pain. And Ash is like, how can you tell? It doesn't have any eyes. Ash, I think. Ash, your sense of direction is so bad, you can't find yourself in a mirror. You crack a mirror. My picture is going to be on posters when I'm a big famous star. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Maybe in horror movies. And Yo, I don't remember this. What the heck? Ash, calm down. Electabuzz fan, huh? No wonder you're so full of energy. But don't the Electabuzz always finish in last place? This season's gonna be different. This season they're gonna win the series. <laughs> no way. Hey, it's Magic Carp. Electabuzz will get creamed by teams like the Magic Carp and the Starmie. You quit saying. Oh my gosh. So it's not just Misty that he tries to like roast and say a bunch of savage stuff. It's basically everyone that tries to like say something. Bad things about the Electabuzz. They're gonna beat everybody. The Electabuzz couldn't beat an egg. Oh yeah. And what about all the great hitters that are on the Electabuzz? Those guys aren't hitters. I've seen better swings on a playground. They're just... Ugh. Oh my gosh, dude. The way that <laughs> Savage... He's going. It's not beautiful. This sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it, Misty? Fuck's up with the the most disgusting yeah. things in the world! Aside from you, what are the other disgusting things? <laughs> She's making... Oh my gosh, bro, stop, stop trying to freaking do it, bro, this literally got aired, <laughs> yo, yo, Ash is low-key bullying Misty, damn. Your life's so miserable, how come you're carrying her picture around? I hate the way she treats us, but I like the way she looks. Yeah, not like some other girls who treat you bad and look even worse. Oh my gosh, dude. I thought you really cared about her and also Brock. I didn't expect this <laughs> coming from you, Ash. Come on. Is everything okay? Um, it's okay. It's working just fine. I wasn't asking about your camera. I was worried about you. But you see, this camera is my life. Get yourself a new life. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Oh my gosh, get yourself a new life. Come on, man, stop. And obviously, like, I'm doing constant pauses for the fact that, obviously, since there has been, like, a bunch of moments that, or not a bunch of moments, there has been, like, um, I've reacted to this, and basically, it got taken down. So, yeah. <laughs> that girl's more beautiful than any flower I've ever seen. Come on, bro. What are you Brock. talking about, Brock? I don't see any beautiful girl. Just turn around. <laughs> Misty, please, only one of us can hallucinate at a time. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What the heck is wrong with Ash, dude? He, like, has some beef with Misty that I don't even know. Because it's been a while since I haven't watched... Pokemon like that. But there is something going on with between him and Misty. Then this is the last one. For me by the snack bar. How's the water? Uh, what is he gonna say? Uh, what's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? It's just weird to see you looking like a girl. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm jumping away, dude. Ash. <laughs> you were too savage back in the day. I don't remember all of that. Here, when your parents are too focused on your siblings to worry about your it's mess. Is that your best? No, chef. No. So all that time you. What are you doing? 
All that time you're cooking it, you couldn't oh, oh. to put two fresh bass in. <laughs> <laughs> he completely disregarded what was going on. He's like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Why are you putting up so much of flame? But wait a second. You, I still have to talk with you. <laughs> Bro. Gordon Ramsay is a savage, but he's also a Chad. For standing up to Karen's. That's Chad material. Let's see. What the? Dude. Oh my gosh. Let me guess the wall is gonna follow him but but he's gonna <laughs> avoid it. Whoa, whoa, pick up. Yo <laughs> These are like basically uh what you wanna call it near death experiences, basically like uh what I've seen from Mom Dante that he does like these like no near death experiences and basically like after seeing those three, yeah, like they would be in like that compilation for sure. Because like basically like from those three, they were so close, like that much close to literally getting hit and would not be fun. There needs to be a support group for people who weren't allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. Well, basically, like, here's the thing. When it came to, like, Spongebob, there's some people that didn't like it because, like, just basically how it was. There's some, like, parents that, like, were, like, saying, oh, don't watch it because, like, this, this, and that. Like, it all just comes with, like, their ideals of how they see a show. And, obviously, like, I was given, like, the the free range to watch, like, anything that came out. Like, I had Spongebob, Curse the Cowardly Dog, Kids Next Door, um, that's a Raven, all this other stuff, like, there's a bunch of good stuff out there, and literally, like, I didn't rely much on Spongebob, like, there's some other shows that were out there, like, I didn't, like, fully just, like, watch Spongebob, or else, like, yeah, I don't know, but, like, still, like, my cousins were only allowed to watch Veggie Tales growing up, and nothing else well into their teen years, they oh, yeah, are Veggie the Tales. suckiest people I've ever met, they were made in the dumb bitch factory, they have no seasoning whatsoever. Yo, but that's like, like I have like one thing from Veggie Tales, which is like the like a movie that came out, and I still love it. Like it's like a musical, but with vegetables. It's like hilarious, but also good. Definitely liked it. And this is right here, yo. WTF is this? Let's see. The entire time I knew him. Oh, this is probably from the Morbius. Right? Oh no, it's from uh, Endgame, right? Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Christopher Robin. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember this. I remember how like they mean memes out of this like whole uh, trailer. Like it was hilarious. Like if you haven't seen like any of like the what's it called the the made ones that they made, which like the which had memes, definitely check it out. Like, these are hilarious. Like, obviously, there's this one, but there's other ones that are hilarious. All right, and this is going to be the final video from my friend sending me memes for the sham. And this is right here how arguments in 2025 are going to be. <laughs> bless you. No, he didn't. Um, actually, oh my it's gosh, the bless first they. Huh? <gasps> Someone in my the pronouns are they, them. So it's bless they. That that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. It's 2024. Okay, okay. Hey, but bless A. But bless A. <laughs> okay. Now can you pass me a napkin? You? Oh wow. No, I didn't you mean. Just, okay. You're okay. Gonna, okay. Okay. You want to play? I identify as a fucking walrus. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I am so sorry. Gosh. Oh, you're sorry. Well, what about the other person? I, I mean, I mean, we're sorry too. We we're sorry. We're sorry. I bet. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is just going with the fact of pronouns, and obviously, like I respect every pronoun when it comes to this. Obviously, like. Like how this person said, this is just a joke. So obviously, like, don't criticize this person. He was just doing it out of just a joke. But, yeah. Because, like, there's, like, a whole bunch of things. Obviously, like, we are evolutionizing forward. And, yeah, it's going to come to the point that basically, like, we have to respect each other's pronouns. And basically, like, just respect them. Just respect them. But that'll be it for this meme showcase. And I got like one for you page like meme of the day by me. So let's see which one I decide to showcase today. All right. And if I had to choose one, it had to be like this 
um, old moment from movie, but like now becoming like a meme. And it's obviously um, the SpongeBob movies of where it was that one scene where they're like saying "fill her up, please," and it was like Patrick and SpongeBob in the Krabby Patty car, and basically the guys were like saying, "Will it be, fellas?" And I'll just let this thing play off. Be, it's like so crazy like Mustard oh my god or ketchup. <laughs> what'll it be fellas Mustard Anime or ketchup. Or something. <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> that was hilarious but obviously like that'll be it for this video and obviously if you enjoyed the memes please let me know down in the comments what was your favorite meme out of the whole compilation yes I know that this was very long but obviously like um it's just to bring some laughs and obviously like um, just bring some laughs and some vibes because obviously like if you're having a bad day, jump in into a meme reaction by yours truly and basically see what I got to say and maybe just laugh to some memes because like basically what makes the world better? Some memes to laugh. But like I said, that'll be it for this video. So stay tuned for more videos like this and other ones. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the video. Also, don't forget to drop a subscribe to the channel and one for my gaming channel and i'll see you all in the next one all right laters